Hello everybody. So I want to talk about ME, CFS and REST. And the reason I want to talk about this is because often I hear people say things like, oh yeah, I was resting, I was on my iPad or I was watching a movie. So I just want to talk about what REST is and what REST isn't. But I've got a question for you to consider, which is, which do you find easier? To push or to rest? If you're watching this, just pop your answer in the chat box. Which of those do you find easier? I've made a video about beating boom and bust. It's actually at the moment only available in the Facebook group. So if you are watching this video on YouTube, feel free to find the Facebook group MECFS Explored, where you'll find this movie. I will edit it at some point and upload it, but I haven't done yet. But in that video, I talk about some of the patterns that can help us get into that boom and bust pattern, which can include perfectionism, the achiever pattern, the helper pattern, or it might be that you just, when you get active, you just get enthusiastic and your enthusiasm carries you beyond the point which you should go. Let's talk about what rest is and what rest isn't. So watching TV isn't really rest. Actually watching a television or looking at a screen uses up lots of energy. And I think a lot of people have become addicted to TVs and screens. And I remember having this conversation with someone and they said, oh, I'm not addicted to television or to my phone or to my iPad or my computer. And so we decided to set ourselves the challenge of not looking at any screen unless, for instance, it was ordering an Uber for a weekend. I found it challenging and my friend definitely found it challenging. And Sarah Michael in her book talks about the fact that when we look at stuff, our eyes take in lots of information and it uses up lots of energy. So if you are feeling particularly exhausted, you might think, actually, maybe I need to avoid a screen for a while. Even reading uses up energy. It's not really resting. Obviously, it doesn't use as much energy as looking at a screen. Chatting to people uses up energy, especially if we get animated and overexcited because we like enjoying the contact. And any time you're stressing, whether it's lying in bed or giving yourself a hard time, beating yourself up, obviously that is not rest. Any time you're being self-critical. So rest includes things like sleeping includes meditation or listening to a guided meditation, listening to relaxing music, having things like massage. Many people with ME CFS say that before they got ME, they were very active and the only time they stopped being active is when they were asleep. But obviously when you have ME CFS, you spend a lot of time in that place of being inactive, especially you know when you're at your worst. So let's look at the sort of active inactive pattern. And again, this does relate to the boom and bust pattern that we've talked about. So you're having to rest because you're tired and hopefully you are resting and getting quality rest. And if you do that, you might feel a little bit better and a little bit better and be able to do a little bit more. Then you feel a little bit better and you do a bit more, but then suddenly think, oh, actually I've got energy. And you go all the way to being quite active and of course, consequence of that is that you crash again and so you repeat that same pattern you rest and do a little taking things quite gently you do a little bit more you do a little bit more and then again you think oh great i've got some energy and you do too much and then you go back into that pattern so we need to really look at what we need to be doing depending on what stage we are at so if we're in sort of the red phase where we're completely depleted then really you have to rest. You haven't really got much choice. Sometimes people try and push through that, but that just is going to ultimately dig you deeper into a hole. When you're in the sort of yellow phase where you're starting to feel moments of feeling good and feeling having some energy, you still need to be listening to your body and pausing when you need to. And ideally when you're getting into the green and into the higher levels of the, the green, you still need to make good 
choices. So, for example, athletes who really understand that their performance can be enhanced by the quality of their rest will make good choices. I've mentioned before that some research indicated that high performers could improve their performance if they were sleeping nine hours a day and having rest periods during the day. And the American Olympic Committee embraced that research and got people to do that. And they did find, sure enough, that people's performance improved. So we just need to recognize what we need in any moment. So when you're in the red stage, you need quality, quality rest. When you're in the yellow stage, you need to recognize when your energy is starting to dip. When you're in the green stage, making good choices, still taking breaks when you need to. What this means is at each stage, we need to avoid the temptation of going all the way to being super active, but just taking things at a pace level as much as possible. Um, as someone's commented, you know, if you're enjoying yourself, sometimes you might choose to allow yourself to carry on enjoying that and say, well, I might pay for it, but I'll be lying in bed feeling quite content that I had a good time. OK, so we need to be able to just manage at each level and recognize where we are in that sort of progression so that we can manage appropriately. Remember, we do so by ensuring we get good quality sleep. That's a topic for another video. Doing things like meditation, guided relaxation, listening to relaxing music, self-massage or, or getting someone to massage you. So that rather than going to and fro between those two extremes, we are able to approach things in a more balanced way. I want you to consider, especially if you are an achiever, that rest is an achievement. I'm going to finish by doing a relaxation visualization. If anyone's got any questions, fire away now. Otherwise, we'll do the relaxation. So, all right. So let's do a relaxation. So what I'd like you to do is just to make yourself comfortable. Uh, obviously, as this exercise asks you to close your eyes, only listen when you can safely do so. Don't listen to this recording when driving a car or any other situation when you would not be safe closing your eyes. So make yourself comfortable. Allow yourself to settle in your chair. Make sure your hands and feet are in a comfortable position. With both feet on the floor. And you can adjust your posture whenever you choose to ensure that you remain comfortable. So I'd like you to bring your attention to being in the room that you're in, wherever you are. Just have a sense of the things that are in those in the room. And if you haven't already done so, you can gently close your eyes. As you notice any sounds that you can hear other than the sound of my voice, And with each breath, just allow yourself to become more and more relaxed. And as you breathe in and out, With each out breath, just allowing your body to relax and let go. And I'd like you to imagine that you're walking in the countryside. Along a path in a beautiful part of the open country. It's a warm, bright, sunny day. The sky is completely clear 
and is an amazing shade of blue. As you become aware of the sounds that you hear, the sounds of nature, the sounds of birds, you start to get a sense of the tranquility and peacefulness of this place. As you breathe in the pure, clean air, your mind and body become even more relaxed and peaceful. With each breath, your body is receiving energy. The air has a cleansing effect on your body, bringing nourishment to your internal organs, to your skin, and your mind feels alert and yet is still peaceful. As you become aware of the temperature of the air on your skin, the warmth of the sun enhances those feelings of relaxation. The atmosphere is serene and calming. Everything is so still and peaceful. As you walk along the path, you take in all that you can see. The vegetation, the foliage, the colours and shapes. As you breathe in this scene, you see beauty everywhere. With each breath, calm, warm feelings fill your body, nourishing every cell. And each part of your body is functioning in a rhythmic manner. As your mind becomes still and quiet, you notice that this relaxes your body even more deeply. You decide to sit for a while and take everything in. And you find a comfortable place to sit. Whilst you sit there, taking in the scene, the following thoughts occur to you. It is safe for me to let go and relax. I allow my mind and body to be still and quiet. I allow my breathing to be slow and peaceful. I can let go of anything that I don't need to do right now. I can let go of what others think. I can let go of any self-talk that is not nurturing me. I can allow my mind and body 
to relax and recharge. With each in-breath, I breathe in all that I need. And with each out-breath, I let go of anything I no longer need. Thoughts, beliefs, experiences. So I'd like you just to take a moment to focus on breathing in. And as you do, you might imagine a colour as you breathe in energy. Imagine that colour going into your body, reaching all the parts that need it most. And as you breathe out, just imagine again that breath as a colour. As you breathe out, letting go of anything you no longer need. So I'm going to let you just do that for a short while. So now I'm going to bring you back, but knowing that you can take yourself to this place whenever you choose, I'm going to count to five and when I reach five you will be ready to open your eyes and come back to the room. So one just bring your awareness to the place where you are right now and two just be aware of the position of your body three as you start to have an awareness of the other sounds that you can hear four Bring your attention to your body. The in-breath and the out-breath. And you can gently stretch or wiggle your fingers and toes. And five, when you're ready, you can gently open your eyes and come back to the room. So thanks for watching this Facebook Live and feel free to leave any comments and I look forward to speaking to you at another Facebook Live soon. Bye for now.